Hey guys, this is my wax picker tool. This is what I use to pick up the rhinestones. It can retract, it can go up, but it's just about done. Oh, I figured I'd change it out and I'll show you guys how I do it. Now, this thing here is a pintail eraser. It normally looks like this, okay? And I took the eraser out of it. Now, this piece here was something that I got from another picker tool and I glued it onto the bottom of this. So obviously I need another one for this one, but you don't have to use it with the picker tool. You can keep the, the pointy end separate, but I'm gonna show you how to put a wax pencil into this. This is one of my very first wax pencils I've ever used and it broke. I'm a very hard rhinestone or I like to force things into place, you know? Um, so these, I went through them once a week at least. This is what it looks like when it's not messed up. Now, um, these are great for beginners. This here is just a wax tip. And if you get glue on the end while you're working and it's not picking up any rhinestones, just rub some alcohol on it and clean it off and it should work again. But anywho, see this piece here? Get my drift? Yeah, I'm kind of a Frankensteiner, but oh well. I like to buy my wax pencils in bulk and they come like a bag of eight or something. And they look like this. And it has a paper covering over it that's really thick. And I like to cut that off. But also obviously you see here, this big huge wax pencil is not gonna fit into this guy. So you gotta kind of measure it. And you wanna see if it's gonna fit. So then you're going to very carefully remove this paper on the outside here. And then we're just going to, like I said, peel the paper off. I kind of scored it down the edge here. Just keep peeling, just keep peeling, peeling. And we're gonna put this guy in here like this. Put your gun on this and then push all the way down. And then obviously I have mismeasured. So you can sharpen this down and cut it as much as you'd like. But any of these pieces can be saved for later. So my favorite thing about these is I can keep them sharp. I like to keep mine pointy and sharp. So then you have something like this that can go up, you go back down and you can sharpen it so that when this one starts looking like this one, you don't have to buy a whole new one. You have extras here that keep you stocked always. So either one that you choose, it really doesn't matter. Whatever it works best for you. But I'm not gonna lie, I do enjoy this picker in, so that's why I use this one. But I'll have these linked to my Amazon storefront. If you guys want them, bye guys.